One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 1966 Lincoln Continental suicide door. I've actually got it in an area that looks really good here for how it's sitting. Um, it's not very level in my lot, as you can see. And this car just looks good. That's all there is to it. It's going to need a little fix-ups here and there. It's a good project car. This is going to be more of the interior and all the options and functions and stuff inside. It's a straight car, and I showed you all that on the last video. And now this one will be the interior, mostly. I just wanted to do a quick walk around, and I'm a little shy on the area over here to keep it all in frame. So I'm going to have to go like that. And then it's dark over here, so... Bam! Okay, here we go. Let's look at the inside. All this trim, man. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, that window don't go up all the way. That's all there is to it. And this here is all knocked down. Not a lot of wear on the pedals. A little wear hole there. No, hardly no wear on that stuff. Hardly at all. Don't look at my feet now. And the trim panel plate, whatever you want to call it, is in great shape there. Um, you got obvious cracks in the dash. On a dash like this, I think I might be able to fix that myself with some premium body filler. These things, they work great. Nice and tight. All the strut for the headliner is there in its nice condition. All the bows for the headliner are here and all stretched nicely the way they are supposed to be, it looks like. Um, no headliner, of course, as you can see. Um, these seats. Well, let's talk about the door panel first. What door panel? Exactly. Um, I put these keys somewhere. I don't know if the fuel gauge works, by the way. Um, dang it, I got Thunderbird keys and Lincoln keys. There's a Thunderbird right back there. Okay, this one works and it works good. However, that one I can see the gears wanting to go, but the window is not in the track. It's all there. Nothing on that one. Wow, and that one goes down. But it don't go up. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I don't want to pull it down much farther, but it would go there. Um, so maybe it's the switch. I'm thinking. Now the door panel is missing, so this will all tie into that. Um, it's clean. It's non-rusty in the seams and everything. It's a California non-rusty car. And even the little things in there for the, the blinkers make on it. All the little air... This stick actually though, it likes to fall down. And then the blinker goes on. And... This little light even works. And the directional thing on these is very nice and tight. They could use a cleaning on top. I didn't do that. And this is clean. The dome courtesy light does not come on in there. Uh, ouch. Ashtray is clean and not used. I think that's unplugged though. I'm pretty sure it is. And it looks like the piece is stuck in there. So, that's that. Now, carpet, I don't know if it's factory or what, but it ain't all that beautiful. These are not the keys for this car. Um, you see the dash, all the chrome. Oh, that's in great shape. Um, they added this on the top of the seats. It looks actually pretty good under it if they wouldn't have. Um, they added it there too. So, interesting way to fix that. 
suicide door. Actually, that happens to um, work a little bit when you um, slam the door too, by the way. This piece is loose. It needs to be screwed together and such. This piece does not seem to want to stay in there. Maybe when this is tightened, I believe it will. I don't know. I'm missing little things like that. It needs the interior redone, um, but it is clean. And whoever had it, it's it's aged. It's not thrashed. How's that? That's how I believe this car to be. Aged, not thrashed. Now them don't come on. I don't know if possibly. You know what? The switch was turned on and le and left on. So I almost bet that they um, burn out themselves. I will almost guarantee that they burn out themselves. Now the light here, or light, the um, stereo here does not stereomatize. Stereomatize, yeah. Um, under the hood, let's show you that. And I'm wondering if I have something to show the trunk. The keyhole's broke, so I need my universal key. I've got a, um, I always forget where that thing is, even though I've been working on this car for about a week. Now, this is all in great shape. It's just kind of got stuff on it right now. Under the hood, looks just amazing. Um, I'll tell you, there's a couple extra wires here like this. This don't even have a bolt on it. It was like this. I just got this thing started and going yesterday. This wasn't even tied down. I had four different, four mechanic mechanics and four other people that looked at this thing with me. And I should have just done it all. I came out, put the wires on the coil and started the car up. Um, seems to shift good around the lot here. It's a newer motor. That's all there is to say about it. A lot newer motor. I don't know what it's out of. I believe it's a Ford 5.0. You've got the Edelbrock. Uh, Z28 Performer 289 manifold and the Edelbrock carburetor. Um, master cylinder looks pretty fresh. This is for the other AC, and of course, you're gonna have to get new hoses to make this AC work. Um, even the rubber, it's still got all its original, a lot of its original spooch to it. Even the hood insulation is all still intact. Um, I'm going to show you the back seat from this way. And big old radiator, man. That's nice. Fuel regulator on that. And the Street Fire MSD Ignition brand. CDI Multi Spark Ignition. Missing that. I showed you that, I think. Um, this one, it don't go up. It cranks like you've seen there. This works. Wow, man. You had them in your doors and your dash. They had cigarette lighters in the back seat. There's cigarette lighters everywhere in this car. This thing's a fire hazard just going down the road. No, it's not. But if you were all smoking, it would be. That was the point. Look at that big back seat. Serious, big back seat. Uh oh. Okay, so that is, oh yeah, these gauges down here. The gauges. Now I'm gonna do a video of the running ability and the motor stuff on this car. Not if I don't turn that off, I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna clip in something. I don't know why that horn does that, by the way. I don't know if you caught that in the other video, but I don't know why the horn does that. But when you slam a door, it butter dun 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 dun. Okay, I turned that off to where I could go get my universal Ford and Chevy and and Dodge. I don't know. I'm just a Ford uh, Chevy guy for the most part. Okay, all the wheel well trim up here. Here's the airbag system they seem to have going to start putting on it. All kinds of trim for around the windows and stuff. Part of the door panel there. I don't know what this is. I really don't. I should probably open this up. It might be a gold nuggets in there. What is this? 
I don't know. Probably for the roof or something. It comes with it. How's that? It seems Lincoln related. Um, hey, I need that hose under the hood. I could have used that. And I'm not going to move it around too much. All this stuff is nice and straight. And I'm just going to leave it there for you. i got to get my key. Don't want to lock my key in my trunk. Still got a lot of the cardboard in there. Look at that. Just great condition and all that. And it's still got the fiberglass tar paper stuff on the bottom here. So, and up here they kind of sprayed it, but that's still there. All your stickers are still around. Um, okay, that's the trunk. Um, I think I got pictures of this too. I hope so. And I'm gonna do a, another video firing it up and all that stuff. I'm going to actually put my universal key inside to where I do not lose it. And that's that. Now, other than that, that is your interior walk around of this beautiful 66 Lincoln. Right as I was ending that, it shut off on me. My battery got hot and my internal temperature got too high. But I also forgot to show you. Hang on, let me turn this off. Listen. That's up. That's down. So it wows and it goes. It wants to go, but it's stuck in the up position and I'm not gotten to tinker with it too much. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. My car's blinking. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, I'll put a link at the end of this video and in the description below to where you can go look at the test drive and the exterior review as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Hipstercars.com, one owner car guy. And somehow, the guy didn't show you this. I think the middle of the switch is working, I was missing. And I don't think that it's all hooked up. This is just something that was not hooked up. So I wanted to be sure to show you that. I think there's something that goes over that and plugs into there. Not working. Let's just go with that. And I'm gonna... It does go off when the key goes off. Okay, that's that. I don't know how many times I've shown you this. It said one owner car guy. But thanks for watching. Links in the description below. I just want to see as a test how this works with a higher exposure composition. I think it may really help for these types of videos for me to get inside and God, the car, this looks awesome. It's in the middle of the night. It's not the middle of the night. Of course, I'm being a little bit... Wow. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. I kind of touched some things on my camera incorrectly, and I'm going to go ahead and try and duplicate how it was. Of course, you can't set it while you're doing this. Although I can make it darker. It's not what I was looking to do. So, that's the deal. It is definitely... A better picture, I believe.